Hi, I'm Chef Ethan Stoll. Today we're making a chocolate espresso pot de creme. We're gonna be using the Kenwood Cooking Chef to do it. The Kenwood Cooking Chef is great because it's a mixer that also has induction heating capacities to it, so we can do the entire dish in there and it'll cook the cream and melt the chocolate and everything inside the mixer. So we're gonna open it up. We're gonna add the flexi beater and then we're all ready to go. We've got 12 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate, about 65%. We've got two cups of heavy cream half cup of espresso, a third cup of sugar, some vanilla beans, and then four eggs of which we're only gonna be using the yolks. So the first thing we do is we're gonna put the heavy cream in the bottom, I'll lower the top. I'm gonna to set the temperature dial to about 200 degrees because I wanna make this nice and hot so that it'll melt our chocolate. Okay, now that we're getting close to 200 degrees, I'm gonna split my vanilla bean, scrape that into the sugar, so we're gonna open this. We're gonna pour our chocolate right in there. We're gonna pour our espresso in there. And we're gonna pour the sugar, the vanilla scrapings, and the vanilla pod. Now lower it right back down, turn it right back on. And then we're gonna to wanna to bring this back up to about 190 to 200 degrees. So all the chocolate and the sugar and the vanilla all gets incorporated and it has this really nice glossy chocolate sauce look and feel to it. Okay, so now we're gonna separate our eggs so we can just add the yolks. We're just gonna drop them in one at a time as it's stirring so it kind of gets incorporated and it tempers the eggs into the, into the chocolate. Now the pot de creme mixture is all done and the eggs have been incorporated. We just need to transfer the pot de creme mixture into our serving containers. I'm just gonna pour these into our vessels and then we're gonna put the vessels in the cooler to cool down and they'll set as they cool. Now, as you can see, our pot de cremes have been thoroughly chilled. All that's left to do is just whip some cream to put over top and, and then you can serve them as is. We're gonna use a Kenwood Cooking Chef for that as well. This time with the power whisk attachment. Pour our cream. And just a touch of sugar. In my whipped cream, I just want a tiny hint, just a little bit, because I don't want it to be too sweet. Because this is quite a rich dessert, and we just want to have the cream be uh, nicely, softly whipped, and something that can kind of balance the richness of this a little bit. Okay, so it's all done whipping the cream. Nice soft peaks to it. Just gonna take a little bit of the whipped cream, put it right on top. We have just a really nice, simple dessert right there. It looks pretty in a glass, kind of looks like a little cupcake. And there you go, enjoy.